Today, I'm here with Lee Bort, who is a product manager at Skoda, and I'm going to be chatting with him about his recent experience at the Donegal 555 Ultra Cycle. Tell me about it. Tell me how you're feeling now. I mean, it was last month, so I mean, how are you feeling? And how's the body? How's the recovery? Actually, I feel really well, to be honest. Uh, it was surprising for me mm -hmm. uh, that uh, I felt relatively okay after the race. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, I felt my body because it was tough, tough. Uh, 20, nearly 27 hours, but I felt relatively okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how do you prepare for something like that? Uh, when I moved to Ireland, uh, I started cycle because mm -hmm. in my opinion, the best way how to explore the country is uh, just jump on the bicycle and yeah, cycle whatever you want. So uh, I started cycling quite a lot uh, in Ireland. Uh, it started with uh, 100 kilometers ride and 160k. And from whatever reason, I had this crazy uh, idea that I will cycle from Dublin to Galway and back. Oh uh, and uh, I did it. Uh, it was it was so much fun. I did it under 20 hours. And after that, uh, one one of my uh, former colleague, uh, Robert Stanton, his absolute gentleman, he came to me and he mentioned the uh, boat. Uh, don't go 555 but also he mentioned Montello 24 hours and mm -hmm. the same day uh, when I uh, came uh, back home uh, I checked those two races uh, on the internet and I kept my eye and uh, when the registration opened I was one of the first one to, to register for <laughs> okay. Don't and Montello. I mean did you have a support car with you? Did you have music playing from the support car? I mean, how did that, uh, how yeah, did that look? Well, one of the advantage of Donegal uh, is that uh, the, it's you have to have the support vehicle. And I'm really glad uh, I had it because, uh, first of all, I didn't have to carry the food and the clothes uh, mm. on myself. Everything was, was uh, in the car. So it was very, very... Uh, Securing, I would say, also. And so you you had the five hundred and fifty five kilometers, and you did you stop at any stage, and for yeah. how long? Uh, yeah, uh, I did few stops because, to be honest, I didn't really race it uh, against other riders. I race it just again myself. So I I took it reasonably. Uh, I stopped like uh, after uh, one sixty kilometers. I stopped for fifteen minutes just. You know, eat a little bit and then just continue. So, like, I, I always uh, did a few, few stops uh, on the course. And you changed kit, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah, you would you would definitely want to be, like, keeping fresh, yes. especially, I'm sure, Irish weather, I'm sure it wasn't on your side, or was it? Uh, actually, the first part, let's say, in the first 160 to 200 kilometers, it, the weather was perfect. Uh, I actually also got sunburn because I didn't <laughs> expect it to, to to take the sun cream. But when the evening started and especially the night, also the rain started and in the combination with the wind, it was it was challenging, very challenging. Yeah. And yeah, uh, after midnight, uh, I was that cold, uh, so I had, had to stop. I will not lie. For ten to fifteen minutes, I sit into the superb and and switch on the heated seats oh, nice. uh, so uh yeah it was it was i guess the most challenging time uh, yeah after midnight when it was raining like uh, mm -hmm. uh, crazy but then uh when i changed the clothes uh relax a little bit uh, yeah it helped something that i'm curious about is because i i've done a not anything like that but i've done an endurance cycle before um on gravel and it was 350 kilometers wow. and people always said that, you know, you kind of reach a state where you get into flow and, you know, you start to like experience the euphoria of it. And I have to say, I didn't get there. I was waiting for the whole day, waiting for it to like reach a state of flow. And actually I never got there. And did you is what I'm curious about. Like, did you feel ever at any stage like it's just flowing? I think partially maybe yes um, yeah. especially especially through the night it was quite experienced to cycle through night uh mm -hmm. when there is basically the just your lights or uh, your bike's like and the the led lights from the super behind you so you are basically like cycling through tunnel for mm -hmm. like a couple of hours so partially maybe yes partially i get to this this yeah okay that's nice it's, yeah okay amazing 
And what was then your high point and your low point from the Donegal 555? Because I'm sure there were low points. Well, actually, it may sound weird, but for me, the high points and the low points were the same. Uh, it was the same moment because uh, the, the, the low point, it was uh, the moment when I was wet, cold, and yeah. it was uh, after midnight, so I already had like 350, 400k. In the same time, this is what I appreciate most about those uh, races. Yeah. This is actually also the reason why why uh, I uh, entered this this race because I somehow enjoy to be in those moments where you are completely empty. Mm -hmm. You are pretty much at, at your core and yeah. somehow you have to rebuild yourself back. So in some way, I, I enjoy it in the same time. Mm -hmm. And what was your feeling as it was coming towards daybreak and you were starting to realize you were going to make it and get to the, the finish line where your emotions building? I mean, it must have been an amazing feeling to cross the line. No, it was. Uh, yeah. I was really happy to finish it. Uh, yeah, it was great sense of uh, fulfillment. Really difficult to describe in words yeah, you know, yeah. until you experience it, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, a lot of emotion. But uh, also, I was also happy that uh, the, the, my colleagues uh, were there, and yeah, it was really nice. That's wrapped up my conversation with Libor. If you're interested in finding out more about what Libor has gotten up to or any questions about cycling in general, check out the Wheel of Cycling website.